So I'm about to dye my hair. Um, I bought a box color. This is the color I got. I got this from Walmart for $8.97, I think it was. I have short hair, so I got one box. Um, this is what the color is supposed to look like. It's like a deep purple, violet, whatever. It was between this and a red. Because I haven't dyed my hair in a long time, so I I want to do something different. And I need for a change. I cut it last time, and I shouldn't have did that. But I wanted to bob. It's making progress. I'm not letting it grow back out, so cutting it for a change is out of the question. I have the back of my hair cut. I've had it cut like this for like a couple years now. I don't think I'll ever let that grow back out, honestly. Yeah, so I'm going to color my hair. It's like this dark brown. The ends are kind of a light brown between the sun and old hair color. This is what's happening to it. It looks really ratchet right now. God, but yeah, I'm going to do this before I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like in my hair, what it looks like when I wash it out, and then what it looks like when it's dry and styled. That way you can see the full process. We're going to see what it looks like when it comes out. I hope it looks okay. Maybe then, you know, we just go by as black and we'll be gothic for a while. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> this is the color I got. This this violet, I think I showed you guys this already. I love her bob, like it a oh, lot. I love it. This is all stuff that supposedly comes in it. This is what's in the box. As I'm sure many of you have probably dyed your hair before, but maybe you're young or maybe you just haven't dyed your hair. Yeah. So. Snap the top off this bottle, mix this into it, this step two. Then you mix this into it, which is like the serum, sparkling serum, and then you mix this into it, which is the color booster. You're going to shake all this up, apply it to your hair, let it sit for 25 minutes, then you shampoo it twice with the shampoo, which is in that little itty bitty bottle. I lost the shampoo. Did I lose the shampoo? Oh, this little... This little tube right here of conditioning shampoo, you're going to wash your hair with this twice. Put the conditioner in, like a conditioner sit for five minutes. Rinse that out. Once you rinse that out, you can, you know, go on about your business, style your hair as usual. Whatever you want to do after that, it's on you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go start my hair and I'll be back and show you guys how it looks. So I'm back. Um, I have to dye my hair. This is what it looks like in... Hope I didn't miss any spots. But yeah, this is what it looks like in um it looks like a it looks really purple on camera. In real life it's like a light pinkish purple, like yeah, it looks really purple on camera. Doesn't look that purple in real life. It looks like a it looks like the color on the box, like <laughs> But this is more what the color looks like on my skin, my hair. Yeah. So I'm just going to let this sit for 25 minutes. It's 12.13 now. I'm going to let it sit for 25 minutes, rinse it out, and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So I washed the dye out. My hair is still wet. Mm, it's kind of purple. It's dark. My hair just looks like it's all one even color now. Yeah. You all can see some of the difference. 
some light on the situation. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. What? Oh, it looks crazy with the light on. I'm satisfied. I'm gonna dry it, see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna dry it, see what it looks like, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I realized that I didn't get to record the clip showing you what my hair looked like when it was dry. It's been a couple days now. I have washed it, I think, maybe twice since then. Um, yeah, so I realized that I didn't show you guys the clip of what my hair looks like when it's dry. So I decided to do that now, and I'm going to show you how I do my everyday style. This is kind of the style that I wear when I go to work. Um, basically just the everyday hairstyle. I'm, my hair is dry. I put some a leave-in conditioner in it and I brush it out that's why it looks so frizzy but I just started in the front and twisted it um, down grabbing piece by piece twisting it around I did the same thing on the other side it's really simple really easy hairstyle um, once you get to the back that's when you're gonna start putting in the bobby pins and I just stuck a few bobby pins in the back once I got back there where the two parts meet and tucked the ends of my hair in I have an inverted bob so it's not really too hard to tuck the ends because the back is short so it's not hard for me to tuck them into the bobby pins I'm I don't have a mirror or anything so I can see the back so I'm kind of just feeling around so to say it takes about a good like maybe six bobby pins to get everything pinned up and tucked under you know it's padded in place and this is what the finished part looks like I have the back of my hair cut low I've had it like that for a long time but yeah, this is just basically my go-to quick hairstyle when I'm going to work and I want my hair out of my face or out of my way. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.